Well, 2017 is here and with it comes much excitement and anticipation for what the future of air gunning might hold. Now, technology is evolving very, very quickly. And while some guns are getting more and more complex, others are keeping it simple and traditional. And the FX Streamline is one of those guns. Now, I saw the Streamline for the first time in March last year, and it immediately caught my interest, not because of the features alone, but because of the price. The base model of this rifle is retailing for under $1,000 and that is pretty much unheard of for a PCP of this standard and with these features. What features you may ask? Well, let's take a closer look. The FX Streamline is a traditional looking PCP with some classic features such as side lever cocking, a 12 shot magazine, adjustable trigger and a shrouded barrel features we've come to expect as standard from any quality PCP. And yes, there are many fantastic PCPs that have exactly the same features, but FX wanted to take things a little bit further. Now what I believe makes the Streamline special is the fact that over and above those sort of baseline features, uh, the Streamline includes a really, really well-designed air regulator. It includes a anti-bounce valve and hammer system, which will save you a lot of air and an adjustable power wheel on the side of it here. And these are features that really we've come to expect from rifles at least twice the price of the Streamline. So how do FX manage to bring this gun to you at such a low price with these features? Do they cut out on quality control? Do they use cheaper components? I was skeptical about these things at first, but I did actually ask FX these very questions. And it turns out it just comes down to streamlining, excuse the pun, the production process. If you compare the Streamline to something like the Impact, for example, you see two complete opposites. The Impact is like a Formula One car with many different parts, many seals and O-rings, and many hours of time on the production line being assembled and tested. The Streamline, on the other hand, has very few parts and doesn't take long at all to put together and test. And that's the secret behind the price tag. It's pretty simple. Now, those of you who have been following my channel for the past while will have noticed that it's been a very long time since I've actually picked up and used a traditional looking rifle. It's all been bullpups and bottle guns for the past while, but I must say it has been really good to pick up and use a traditional looking rifle again. There were one or two things that I didn't like about the kind of ergonomics of the Streamline. The first thing is the, the thinner pistol grip. I've got used to the chunkier, more vertical grips of the Impact and the Royale recently, and this one definitely doesn't feel quite as comfortable. But I do have pretty big hands, so that might just be personal preference. The second thing is that the cheek piece does feel a little bit low, especially if you're going to be using high rings like the FX No Limit rings, for example. Other than that though, I actually really, really like the stock. Um, it's made by Manelli. The wood is absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship is great. And the design is, is really good. I like the fact that it's nice and thin. I like that it's, it's really easy to, to grip on. The checkering is very, very comfortable. And it is an absolute dream to shoot prone or off a bench. I can't tell you how good it felt to fit a bipod and shoot long range groups. This gun just felt so solid and firm with the bipod so far forward. It also feels very well balanced on your shoulder when you fit a sling to it. I guess I've probably just been shooting with bullpups for too long. Now this gun is actually a very, very nice length. On low and medium power, it is pretty quiet without the silencer, but at full power it does bark a little bit, so I decided to fit this Virox silencer and it is extremely quiet with a silencer. I'm talking like mouse fart quiet. Yes, it is pretty long with a silencer, but if you're not gonna be walking in really dense bush, then I think it's probably worth it just to get that extra little bit of noise reduction. And one more thing to mention is that the Streamline is incredibly light, and I think that's probably due to the fact that it has an aluminum cylinder and not a steel cylinder. It definitely helps to reduce the weight. 
The cylinder will not corrode and it features FX's fingerprint resistant finish, which is very, very low maintenance and will keep your gun looking really good. Now, when I reviewed the Royale a few months back, I mentioned that the cocking lever on that rifle was one of the best I'd ever felt. And this one is pretty much exactly the same. It is butter smooth. The magazine in the Streamline is also pretty much the same as the one on the Royale, except this one holds 11 shots instead of 12. As far as rifles go in this price range, I'm not sure you'll find a magazine as solid and reliable as this one. Now, the whole point of having the magazine a little bit smaller is to lower its profile so that you can actually use medium and low rings. Uh, with the 12 shot magazine, you would have to use high rings and in order to get a proper cheek weld with this cheek piece, you need to fit your scope a little bit lower. So that's the, the idea behind the 11 shot magazine. The trigger is pretty much the same as the triggers you'll find on FX's more expensive models. It is light, it is crisp, and it is very adjustable. One of the things that I like about this style of trigger is that you can actually change the angle and height of the trigger shoe to suit your finger. It's just one of those things that can make a small contribution to your accuracy and consistency. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Streamline does have a power wheel for changing the power. And it's different to the power wheel on the Impact in that the Impact's power wheel changes the hammer spring tension, whereas this one is a transfer port adjustment. But most importantly, it is a repeatable power setting. So it's not just a wheel that turns freely, it clicks into, into place, it's got three different power settings, and so it is very, very repeatable. Low power gave me about 10 foot-pounds, medium power gave me 20 foot-pounds, and high power gave me just over 30 foot-pounds. Now I say it in every review, but performance and accuracy is the most important category to look at. If your rifle looks really good, but it can't shoot well, you don't have a rifle, you have an ornament. <laughs> and this is generally the category where a lot of PCP air guns fall short. Most rifles in the Streamline's price range would be unregulated and would tend to waste a fair amount of air. But if we take a look at the chronograph results from the Streamline, we see a very flat and consistent string with a high shot count. And this is what makes the Streamline worth looking at, in my opinion. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's see how it fares in the accuracy department. Right, so we're here at the range with the Streamline, uh, also known as the old abandoned horse racing track, which just happens to have a 50 yard open space. Um, we've got a target down there at 50 yards and we're going to be trying two different pellets. I know that this gun shoots JSB pellets well, so we're going to be trying out the JSB 15.9 grains and the JSB 18.1 grains. We're probably going to shoot either a 5 or 10 shot group per pellet, depending on how much the wind is um, moving around. And then if the wind is still fairly calm after we've done that, we're going to put out a target at 100 yards and probably shoot a 5 or 10 shot group with the best performing pellet. Let's see how it goes. So here we are at 50 yards with the 18.1 grain JSBs and at first this group looks really, really, really tight. This probably would have been a sub half MOA group if it wasn't for one fly right at the end, but that's just how it goes. The 15.9 grain pellets also look really good out of this rifle. Again, we have what looks like one rugged hole and one pellet separate from the main group, but the 15.9 grain pellets just edged out the 18.1s, so that's what we're going to use at 100 yards. There was no shelter at the 100 yard range and the wind was really blowing, so don't read into this group too much. But I wait for a slight lull in the wind and I take a very quick five shot group. This is that group in real time.
And that concludes my review of the FX Streamline. I must say, I've definitely enjoyed this rifle a lot more than I expected to. Originally, I actually wanted to review it for you guys because I felt like it was a really good value for money rifle and many people were complaining that the guns I was shooting with were too expensive. But I actually ended up falling in love with this gun. I really, really like the way it shoots. I love the feel of it, um, especially shooting off a bench. And I would love to do some hunting videos with this rifle in the future. So keep your eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been an informative video and I'll see you next time.